bison are an iconic North American mammal that inhabited the lands for centuries. In Saskatchewan, they have a rich history, once serving as a cornerstone for Indigenous communities and early settlers alike. The bison population almost faced extinction due to overhunting, but thanks to conservation efforts, they've made a remarkable comeback. Today, bison farming thrives in Saskatchewan, with responsible practices ensuring the preservation of these species. Currently, there are over 45,000 bison in the province, managed by parks, indigenous communities, and over 300 farms, and that number is growing. You can find bison in almost all parts of Saskatchewan, in the southwest areas of the province, like Grasslands National Park, right up to the start of the boreal forest in the Prince Albert area. Bison can withstand extreme weather conditions, making them resilient to Saskatchewan's diverse climate. Without a grazing animal like the bison, many ecosystems in Saskatchewan would not be as healthy as they currently are. So farming bison in Saskatchewan is really cool because we get to work with an animal that is built for our environment and our climate. When it's minus 30 in the winter and there's four feet of snow, it doesn't bother them in the slightest. Um, and then in the summer, we have really productive soil here that grows a ton of forage. And so we can have really healthy animals, all with very minimal uh, intervention. We love raising bison just for the, the lifestyle that it offers us. We're not super tied down to the farm. Of course, there's always chores to do, but the way they are just naturally live in this environment, it allows us again to just facilitate that rather than force them into anything. Well, as you can see, maybe in the backdrop here, we're in the, the boreal forest here where, you know, so we go from heavy bush to open natural grasslands to meadows to creeks to beaver dams. I've had a lifelong passion with them. We've raised them for over 40 years and there wasn't many uh, people, uh, private people raising them when we started, but uh, it takes good management but you don't it's not much hands-on um, they calve on their own they don't need bedding they don't need shelter uh, you know as long as they've got snow to uh, eat in the winter and a good water source in the summer grass they're very hardy animals i think it was a perfect fit at the time you know we had this land that wasn't producing the best crops for uh, farmers, so they decided to turn it into pasture land and bison was a, a perfect fit for the First Nations people and at the time the prices, when, when they first got into it, the prices were really, really high so, you know, it was kind of a win-win situation for the band. These animals have taken care of our people for probably hundred, hundreds of thousands of years. Maybe it's our turn to take care of them and it feels good to be the uh, doing something like that. I think it gives the the members a, a sense of pride, you know, that, they, you know, because this was an indigenous species that typically a lot of First Nations relied on historically. So to see them back on their land, I think it's something that they, they carry a lot of pride in. Bison have been an integral part of the North American Great Plains for thousands of years but they dwindled to about just over a thousand animals in the early 20th century. Thanks to recovery efforts since then, um, there are smaller herds that exist across North America, including some of the herds that exist here in Saskatchewan. So bison have evolved with the mixed grass prairie ecosystem as ecosystem engineers. And through their grazing activities, they create changes in vegetation structure which then creates habitat heterogeneity for other species, including other species at risk. So they're very important for maintaining the biodiversity on the landscape. Conservation means to try and protect this beautiful ecosystem. I don't think a lot of people understand the, the beauty of mixed grass prairie. We have a close to natural representation of that here in Grasslands National Park and it's just such a great way to connect with and experience this landscape. Bison or all livestock in general are fairly important to grassland situations um, but a, beyond the animal is also the management of the, of the animal uh, to properly impact the land is the most important thing. What we need to do is, is graze our land and then rest our land uh, so the more we can keep them moving um, 
impact that ground, get that hoof action on there, graze that ground, and then get off it onto the next piece <clears throat> that might be more mature. And then we're gonna be putting seeds into the ground, um, actually thickening up the grass and, and stimulating new species to grow. Um, so by managing the bison properly, we can really improve our grasslands that way. The years and years of rotational grazing through here, that, that hoof action, tra trampling that little bit of grass in, or even feeding out here in the wintertime with our tractor and bale shredder and building up that, that bank of organic matter, um, we've really increased the water infiltration capacity of, of this soil. So we've been able to really maximize, like we haven't had a substantial rain here in probably, I wanna say probably six weeks, but we had above average snowfall and the, the early spring months were, were really wet. So uh, that, that's what's kept this as green as it is, is just that, that's, that moisture that's, that's held below the surface in, in the root system or in that organic matter in the soil. Grazing, it benefits uh, our bison. It fits really well in with uh, the wildlife that uh, also use this, this, this land, this environment. So you can hear the, the birds right now. You got a red tail hawk. We've got tons of cowbirds. We've got tons of songbirds. The deer, we'll see a lot of white tail deer in here as well. And then uh, just, just for your soil too, we're, we're sequestering lots of uh, carbon into the soil. One thing we've noticed by, by having uh, bison and on pasture um, is, is how much organic matter we're, we're, uh, we're seeing on the top of our soil and, and, and throughout. So it's nice to see, I, I know we're improving the soil. You know, there's a big controversy now about what livestock in general are doing to our environment, but they are a necessary part of our ecology, especially for our grasslands and habitats for all kinds of other animals. If we didn't have the bison or cattle on a lot of our landscape, um, it, would, it wouldn't function as well as it should.